The Picardy region nested between the north of France and Paris is very charming. This is the splendid Amiens Cathedral, just a few steps away from the market and local shops that display the regional specialties. The most popular specialty of the region is la ficelle Picard, a pancake raw with ham, filled with mushroom and topped with white sauce and cheese. And I'm so surprised how delicious the macaron d'Amiens is. A biscuit made with almonds and egg white. Yum! This is Les Ortillonnages, a unique and wonderful system of canals that surround vegetable gardens that have been run by families for hundreds of years. Many of the gardens are looked after by hobby gardeners and are used as an escape and for relaxation for people growing a few herbs, flowers and vegetables. Leeks and rhubarb grow well in this very fertile soil. Seven of the largest parcels are owned by market gardeners like Marie-Hélène Parmentier from La Ferme des Ortillonnages. Alors là, ben, bien entendu, on a la chance de pouvoir avoir les radis. Là, dans les petits tunnels que nous avons à notre gauche, ben, ça va être nos premières salades qu'on va enfin cueillir. Tout comme les épinards qui vont arriver, bien entendu, les oignons verts, les échalotes. Puis alors la bonne nouvelle, la petite jardinière de légumes avec ah. les petits navets nouveaux, les petites carottes qui vont suivre courant juin. Ça va être agréable. Hein. Alors là, on se dit que notre métier, ben, on en est fiers parce que quand on fait pousser tous ces légumes-là dans le jardin, on se dit là, ça va être un régal au palais. Merci. Voilà. <rire> This rhubarb and raspberry gratin is a popular Picardy dessert. I first trim and peel the skin of about one kilo of rhubarb stalks and cut them diagonally into 1.5 centimeter pieces. I then mix the rhubarb in a bowl with 50 grams of melted butter and 50 grams of sugar. I transfer the lot to an oven dish and bake the rhubarb at 200 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. I transfer the cooked rhubarb to six battered gratin dishes and garnish with a few raspberries. I place two tablespoons of orange juice, the finely grated zest of half a lemon and two egg yolks in a bowl and beat over a bath of simmering water until light and fluffy. When the sabayon is ready, it is almost as thick as whipped cream. After removing from the heat, I fold in one cup of whipped cream, then spoon this creamy mixture over the rhubarb and around the raspberries. I dust with a little icing sugar and place under the hot grill for a few minutes until golden. It looks so good, and this gratin à la rhubarbe et aux framboises is a wonderful dinner party dessert. The locals really love their beer, and La Rebelle has been made in the region of the Somme since 1472. It is full of flavor and really great with hearty food. For a long time, I've been looking forward to visiting the wonderful region of Champagne, and tomorrow we are going to have a taste of the most prestigious wine in the world, Champagne. <laughs>